So this is how to automate tempo in Ableton Live 9. And it's actually pretty easy once we get into it. So right here, you know, this is our little tempo whatever box, right? So you just right click up in here and show automation in new lane. Boom. Right? So here's our automation. And we don't want this little pen tool. So I guess you just B. B goes from pencil to draw to just your pointer, right? You don't want your, your drawing on right now. Um, so let's just say I want, see, see right here how it says uh, 200. So that means the range of the automation is going to be from 60 to 200, which let's just jump from 80 to 100, which is kind of crazy, but it's okay. 80 to 100, boom. So that's like our brackets, okay? Um, so you see, I just I just put a couple, I just put some drum loops in here so you can listen. Oops, so right here. Simple little drum loops, you can hear the difference, right? So let's say this measure at four, or bar four, I want it to jump to 100, okay? So you just, you see this little red line right here? This is my automation line. So right here, I'm even gonna set a locator real quick. Add locator tempo change. Ah, temp change. Bam. Click out here. It's my tempo change. So, okay. So right here, that little blue guy. Oops. So I'm gonna click right here on that and then I'm gonna click out here and pull. You see what I'm doing here? So that's the tempo changing. So we set the guidelines over here. I want to jump from 80 to 100. So you just pull it up. It's at 100. Bam. Pull it over. Now watch right here. The, and then you're going to see it change right here. So 80. Boom. Tempo change. Just like that. So that's, that is basically all you do to automate tempo in Ableton Live. You just right click up here, show automation in new line, and then you just click to make the breaking point in automation. Then you click out here to pull that automation wherever you want. You can pull it down and make it whatever you want. Another cool little trick I learned while we're at it real quick is like I had a bridge section where I wanted it to break down. So you can actually, so if you take your loop brackets, cover it over like that, click it like this, boom, oops, um, gosh, so click it like this, drag it over, holding alt, watch our automation line, it changed, it brought the automation with it, so, that is really rad for dynamics and like electronic music or anything like, it's just tempo changing. Uh, so that's basically it. That's how you automate tempo and Ableton Live 9. Um, I'm going to start doing some type of musical related video like this every week as well. So if you like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. And if there's something you want to know about Ableton Live 9, that's what I have, or you have a question or you want me to do a bit video about something, please let me know. I'm looking forward to doing more stuff like this throughout the year. Peace.